Hey, what's up, everybody? Jasbro Gonzo here. Another What's Next? More of the weekend edition. And we continue with Assume the Position. Let's take a look. This comes out of Breitbart. Gay kiss restored in Pixar's light year because staff outrage of Florida don't groom kids bill. Yes, because people who know the real Buzz Lightyear, yes, with Tim Allen, know that this reboot is just more a re-butt. The same-sex kiss have been restored in the final cut of Pixar's upcoming animated light year after the Alphabet crew, employees, and their allies complained, bitched, moaned, cried, pearls clutching, panties bunching, that Disney executives had censored the overly gay affection in the company's films, according to a report by Variety. A source close to the production told Variety that Lightyear features a female lead who is playing for the other team, and a kiss between the two characters had been cut from the film. A, the gay kiss was added back into the movie last week, following the outrage of the woke mob, Pixar Animation Studios. Yes, once again, I said in a previous video, Pixar had their chance to become independent and to continue doing good animated work. Instead, they bent the knee, took the money, and now they're kissing Disney's ass. The allegation by Pixar staffers was a part, a large protest against Disney's initial silence in response to Florida's bill that has parents saying, well, you know what? We don't want this nonsense being taught to our children in, ki in kindergarten through third grade. Excuse me. Disney also fell under an attack after reports that the company had given money to sponsors of the bill, which queer activists and their allies have dubbed the don't, gay, the don't say gay bill. Last week, after the Walt Disney Company faced the wrath of the left-wing activist, Disney Bob Chapek caved, bent over, kissed the ass of the woke mob and announced that woke that the company is pledging $5 million towards the alphabet groups in response to the Florida bill. The bill has already passed the State House of Representatives and the Senate and is now on its way to the desk of Ron DeSantis, yes, macho man, Ron DeSavage, who has said, oh, I will sign this. Earlier this month, DeSantis debunked the left uh, falsehoods of the bill, explaining that the measure simply bans sexual instruction for young children such as kindergartens. Let's hear the macho man himself. The look on his face is priceless. Does it say that in the bill? Does it say that in the bill? I'm asking you to tell me what's in the bill because you are pushing false narratives. It doesn't matter what critics say. It says it bans classroom instruction on sexual identity and gender orientation. For who? For, for, for grades pre-K through three. So five-year-olds, six-year-olds, seven-year-olds, and... Um, the idea that you wouldn't be honest about that and tell people what it actually says, it's why people don't trust people like you because you peddle false narratives. Boom. And we disabuse you of those narratives. And we're going to make sure that parents are able to send their kid to kindergarten without having some of this stuff injected into their school curriculum. Woo! My thoughts. Well, this was a quick one, only because of the stupidity and the nonsense of it all. In my last video, I talked about ESPN Woke, of course, is a Disney-owned company, and they have to do the bidding of their overlords um, regarding a moment of silence, regarding the nonsense, because the bill is so full of hate. And now we have Pixar. So... Mom and dads, when you decide to take your children and want to see Lightyear, no, pull up an episode of Toy Story, one, two, three, four was, yeah, four was a little dipped in the woke, so I would avoid four and enjoy Buzz Lightyear as he is meant to be by one Tim Allen. This Lightyear movie is going to bomb, and I mean royally bomb like nuke only because of the bullshit behind it of the forced diversity and inclusion that what disney is disney has become trash it has become trash see the three space movies that i will not mention of course 
Disney is the destroyer of franchises. But um, once again, I applaud Macho Man Ron the Savage, um, DeSantis, excuse me, because of standing his ground and actually giving parents what they've asked for and protecting children. Kids don't need to hear about this. Six, seven-year-olds. My opinion, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 year olds. Once it's hit middle and high school, yeah, they're old enough to understand. But at this age, absolutely not. I applaud the state of Florida. I applaud Rhonda Savage again. And uh, once again, the woke mob gets punched right in the face and gets their teeth knocked out, which should always be a daily occurrence. And with that being said, I'm Jasper Gonzo. This is What's Next. <clears throat> Excuse me. Want to see more just like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it. Share it. Subscribe to it. And we'll catch you guys again. Peace.